recording live right in front of the testing center for boards part one. Um, I wanted to record before because I think a lot of people when they give their advice after, it's hindsight and they tell you not to worry as much, but this is definitely a test that I've worried a ton about. Um, it's, you know, caused me to have a lot of anxiety, a lot of tears shed. It's been very daunting to try and prepare for this exam. And it's, um, I don't know. I don't think any, well, you know, it's probably just as hard as a lot of other medical professions, board exams, but there's something that they don't understand about it's only like a 65% pass rate. And I think if it gets better, it's something that only people who graduate optometry school in the last few years and maybe the next few years will understand that thinking one out of every three people won't pass this exam. Um, but, you know, I feel like I've put effort in. I feel like I've, you know, given it my best shot. And I really feel like my class, everyone has tried so hard. I've, saw, I've seen the effort that everyone has put into it. And I know that my school, Arizona College of Optometry, has had a great pass rate in the year that I applied to optometry school. We had like a high 90s pass rate for part run, part one. So things definitely have gone downhill uh, for this exam. But I know I, I feel great about my preparation about the preparation of of everyone in my class and so i just you know hoping and praying that we all pass but just besides that i think the things that have helped me the most is just consistency i think my brain was just not in the right mindset to study in the last maybe week before this exam and so i'd say just be consistent and study before the exam before you know make sure that you're you passed all, through all of the information and get all of your hard studying in and get all your learning out of the way you know at least a week two weeks before the exam because my brain just wouldn't work the last week I tried studying even yesterday the day before that I tried studying nothing really was sticking nothing I don't know nothing works well, so here's hoping. Uh, hope I pass. And if I, you know, do pass, uh, hopefully this advice works. But let's just, let's see how I feel after. Halfway through the exam, taking my little 45 minute break. You're not supposed to talk about the exam, but that exam was hard. Like first half definitely, definitely, um, dampen my spirits a little bit. I know everyone has a slightly different exam, but I definitely thought it was gonna feel a little bit better getting out of it than it than it does. But hey, gotta keep my mind up. It's the, the other half is still, you know, it's a new exam. So wish me luck. So uh, just got out and honestly, it was so hot and so sweaty and stuffy in that room I couldn't I don't know it was it was hard but I made it through I looking back the second part was a little bit more manageable for me I felt a little bit more confident in my answers and I think overall I don't know if there's anything else I could have done to better prepare myself for that material I think the things that I didn't understand were just little bits and pieces of a bunch of different concepts and so it's like just little things that I might have caught if I paid attention a tiny bit more or if I would have you know read over that section one more time but honestly they were they were little little itty bits of pieces of information that some of them I don't think I'd ever read before or heard before but overall it went well I'm, I'm a survivor I'm gonna go treat myself um, but honestly I think I did okay. So here's what I did. I did not buy any of the prep materials. I didn't buy Opto Prep or KMK. But I did um, 
buy an old Cam K book off of a doctor. It was really outdated. It was like 2019. But I thought, you know, the information's not going to change too much. And it really didn't. I read over that once and then went over all my class notes once. I know my <laughs> word of, uh, my rule of thumb is to go over all the material three different times. I really only went over it all twice. Um, I did have a study group with people who had KMK and OptoPrep in the study group. So I got some exposure to like practice problems and things like that. But honestly, it's really, or it should be, and it kind of is, just a test of how well you know everything you've learned so far in optometry school. I don't think there's a magic bullet. You know, I think if I got, you know, the KMK booster, I could have gotten three, four, five more problems right, just from what I've heard of kind of the contents that it has. But honestly, I'm okay with how it went. I think I passed. I I calculated all the problems I didn't know, and I was about at a 70%, which is borderline passing. And, you know, I maybe got some of the ones I didn't know correct. So I think I feel good. I really, I don't know. It's crazy to think that that part in my life is over, hopefully. And uh, I'm excited to just get down to the clinical stuff, get down to actually being a doctor. But I hope this video is informational to some of you looking to take boards or just having just taken boards. Um, and you know, you've got this. It doesn't matter if you fail. It doesn't matter if I fail. I'll keep trying. Uh, I know you will be able to get through this. We'll be eye doctors at the end of it all. And hopefully um, I can do all in my power to help you guys pass boards as well and we'll all be optometrists together <laughs> all right see ya